Team Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Enduring Agony here, and today I'll bring you guys a video explaining to you guys the new Havoc DLC and the update that was just released on Advanced Warfare first on Xbox. So yes, we finally got the first DLC called Havoc on Advanced Warfare, and it was released January the 27th on Xbox users first. So PlayStation and PC users are going to have to wait about a month. So I'm guessing the end of February or the be literally the beginning of March until you see the update and the DLC. Maybe they will release the update a little earlier, but we're not sure. Um, this is an urban. It's a small map. Reminds me of Nuketown. People spawning everywhere. I do go on a little cool shriek. I think probably two or three cool shrieks, and I do die. I wish that punch before that I just died on. I wish that killed him, but didn't. But yes, we got the update. And before the update was released, we have been seeing teasers on Twitter of Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, the head developers over at Sledgehammer Games, tweeting and teasing to us about the new update about weapon balancing. Now we all, when we heard weapon balancing, two guns that popped into, I would say 95% of the players or 100% of the players of Advanced Warfare thought of the Battle 27 and the Ace at one. Uh, to be honest with you, that is not the case in this update. We only have four weapons that were affected by this update. The first of them being the HBR E3. Uh, the max damage range is increased, which is cool because this weapon, I think it has the potential to be the best assault rifle in the game. But just because of the fact of the Battle 27 and Ace and one being dominant, you're not going to see that. Um, now to go on to the next one is the AE4. That is the weapon that was released in this DLC. All users across all platforms can use it. If you have the season pass and obviously the DLC on Xbox. Um, this is the assault rifle, the laser weapon, and the recoil is reduced while the increased number of shots before overheating. So I think that's really cool because this gun overheats qu uh, quickly along with all the other laser weapons. And I don't find this gun to be really overpowered. Eh? You do die a few times from it here and there through the matches, but I'm not really worried about that gun. I've died a few times. It's not that overpowered, but not really worried about it. The EPM3, the recoil is reduced. Yet again, I'm not really worried about that weapon just due to the fact that you don't see really anyone using that weapon. Um, the last gun being the Tech 19, that's the shotgun. And the max damage range is increased and the, the reduced spread while using Gung Ho. So that gun, like I said, also, I'm not worried at all because a lot of people, I see more people using the Bulldog, to be honest with you. But. Right here, this guy in this lobby using the Bulldog. You're going to see a lot of shotguns on this map, but majority Battle 27 and the ASM one like I'm using. Um, so yeah, I'm not really worried about the Attack 19 either, because not a lot of people use shotguns in this game. And obviously you do get, you know, kill streak updates, security updates, and matchmaking updates to improve the quality of the matchmaking so that you don't lag. But to be honest with you, I think they really did fail during this update, just because of the fact you did not see the Battle 27 and the ASM one be nerfed. I think maybe in the next update, if they're smart enough, they will release the update for the Battle 27 and the ASM1 to be nerfed. But that's really all they have to do to really help out this game. A lot of people have issues with that, but I just they don't seem to recognize or they just don't want to change it. I, I think the reason they probably don't want to change it is because all the competitive players like the Battle and the ASM1, and it's really those two are competitive guns. But, you know, guys, I hope maybe in the next update they'll change it. So, yeah, guys, this is the DLC and the update that was released first on Xbox. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, leave a favor on this video. And, guys, I will see you in the next video. See ya.